The war for the most powerful computer on Earth is about to end. And in 2026, Apple is firing the final shot. The tech world is buzzing. And this time, it's not about a new phone or a thinner laptop. All eyes are on Apple's Mac Studio 2026. Whispers are turning into shouts, and they're all saying the same thing. Apple is about to shatter every performance record in the workstation category. This isn't just another update. This is being positioned as Apple's boldest leap yet into the future of professional computing. For years, Apple's Mac Studio line has been earning massive respect. It's become the quiet workhorse for video editors, 3D artists, and AI developers. But with the introduction of the M5 Max and the M5 Ultra, Apple's engineers are rumored to have achieved something extraordinary. They've built a workstation that is capable of not only outperforming the most expensive PCs, but of redefining how creators and researchers even think about desktop computing. This 2026 version isn't just about more power. It's about efficiency. It's about intelligence. It's about real-world productivity. With a completely new chip architecture, deeper AI acceleration, and smarter thermals, the Mac Studio M5 Ultra could become the dream machine for every professional who depends on performance, without a single compromise. Let's talk about the heart of this new power. Apple's custom silicon journey has already revolutionized how we define performance. From the groundbreaking M1, each generation has pushed the boundaries. But the M5 Max and M5 Ultra are on an entirely new level. They are built on a cutting-edge 2 nanometer fabrication process. What does that mean in simple English? It means the transistors, the tiny switches that do the thinking, are so small that Apple can pack billions more of them into the same space. More transistors mean more speed and, in Apple's case, less power consumption. The leaked architecture diagrams suggest Apple has made dramatic improvements. The M5 Max, the base model for this new studio, is an absolute monster. It reportedly comes with a 16-core CPU, with 14 of those being high-performance cores. This is a chip that can handle the most complex tasks. 3D rendering, scientific simulations, complex software compiling, and it will do it with ease. It's also rumored to have a 42-core GPU. That's the graphics engine. And this engine is rumored to outperform one of the most powerful and expensive graphics cards on the market, the NVIDIA RTX 4090, in certain professional, optimized tasks. All thanks to Apple's own metal acceleration. And that's just the M5 Max. The M5 Ultra, well, the M5 Ultra is what happens when Apple's engineers decide to stop being polite and just show off. The M5 Ultra basically takes two M5 Max chips and fuses them together. This doubles the capability in nearly every single dimension. We're talking about a 36-core CPU, with 28 of those being performance cores. This delivers a raw computing punch that makes even high-end, custom-built workstation from competitors look modest. It will have a jaw-dropping 84-core GPU, an 84-core graphics engine, all with a single, unified pool of memory. This allows for ultra-smooth playback and rendering of 8K and even 12K video. And it will have enhanced AI acceleration cores, capable of handling real-time generative AI tasks, like text-to-video synthesis and complex neural rendering, right on your desk. The 2 nanometer process is what makes this a monumental leap. It allows Apple to pack in all this power, improve speed, and drastically reduce heat output. Now, performance is everything, but not at the expense of stability or heat. In the professional world, power is useless if your computer sounds like a jet engine or if it overheats and slows down. The M5 Ultra promises both power and silence. According to internal leaks, Apple's engineers have completely reworked the thermal management system inside the Mac Studio. They are integrating new graphene-based vapor chambers and an enhanced dual-fan airflow system. These refinements mean that the M5 Ultra Mac Studio can sustain its highest workloads for extended periods, hours and hours, without throttling, without slowing down. This is a game-changer for AI researchers, for film editors, and for architectural designers who are working with massive, massive files.
Let's look at the benchmark simulations. The M5 Ultra reportedly outperforms the M4 Ultra by 35% in raw CP. U speed, it delivers 50% faster GPU rendering. It offers up to two times faster AI model training. And here's the kicker. It maintains a 30% reduction in power draw under similar workloads. This isn't just an upgrade. This is a complete redefinition of what is possible in desktop computing. And a lot of this power is being built for the future. The Mac Studio 2026 isn't just designed for today's workloads. It's built for the future of AI-driven computing. Apple is expected to integrate its on-device Apple intelligence frameworks. This will allow you to interact with local AI models seamlessly without relying on the cloud. For the first time, developers will be able to train medium-scale AI models directly on their Mac Studio without needing to pay for expensive cloud GPUs. This opens up endless opportunities in robotics, autonomous systems, and computational design. The M5 Ultra's neural cores are fine-tuned for natural language processing, for image synthesis, for diffusion modeling, and for real-time voice and video enhancement. In short, Apple is transforming the Mac Studio into a compact AI powerhouse that can handle cutting-edge research and production-grade workloads, all in one small device. But what about for creators? Apple has always targeted creative professionals. And this time, it seems the company has listened, really listened, to what editors, animators, and sound engineers actually need. The Mac Studio 2026 is expected to push creative performance beyond anything on the market. Imagine editing 8K ProRes raw footage in Final Cut Pro with zero frame drops. Not one. Imagine rendering a complex 3D scene in Blender in half the usual time. Early insider leaks suggest Apple has optimized its Pro apps. Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro, and Motion to fully leverage the M5 Ultra's 84-core GPU. Here's what creators can expect. Real-time 8K playback without proxy files. No more waiting. 10 times faster rendering pipelines. Instant AI-assisted masking, color grading, and motion tracking. Support for external 8K displays with zero latency. For music producers, the M5 Max version promises ultra-low latency performance in Logic Pro even when working with hundreds of tracks and heavy virtual instruments. This isn't just incremental speed. This is creative freedom without limits. Now, what about the outside? While Apple isn't expected to radically change the exterior of the Mac Studio, subtle refinements could make the 2026 version stand out. Leaks are pointing to a new space black aluminum finish, similar to the M3 MacBook Pro. This offers a bold, premium, and professional look. We're also hearing about improved port placement. This includes four Thunderbolt 5 ports for even faster data transfer, dual HDMI 2.2 outputs, 10 gigabit Ethernet, and thankfully, a UHS 2 SD card slot right on the front for faster access. The rear ventilation grid has also reportedly been redesigned for even better airflow and lower fan noise. But let's talk about the inside. Let's talk about storage and memory. This is, by far, the most insane rumor, and if it's true, it changes everything. The Mac Studio 2026 is rumored to support up to 512 gigabytes of unified memory. Let me say that again. 512 gigabytes. Most high-end, professional PCs today top out at 64 or maybe 128 gigabytes of RAM. And that's slow, separate RAM. Apple is talking about 512 gigabytes of unified memory, a single massive pool that the CPU, GPU, and neural engine can all access at the same time. This is a supercomputer on your desk. This is the kind of spec that makes Hollywood visual effects studios drool. And for storage, up to 16 terabytes of internal SSD storage with read and write speeds up to 12 gigabytes per second. But here's the best part. It's rumored to be a modular SSD-based system possibly user-replaceable for the first time. If that's true, Apple has just fixed the biggest complaint from the professional community. So, what about pricing and when can we get one? Apple's premium products always come at a cost, but the performance-to-price ratio of this new Mac Studio could make it one of the most valuable professional investments in years. 
Here's what the leak suggests. The M5 Max model will start somewhere around $1,999 to $2,199. This is aimed at creative professionals, coders, and developers who need top-tier performance at an attainable price. The M5 Ultra model, the Beast, is expected to start around $3,999 to $4,499. This is geared toward AI developers, 3D professionals, and production studios that demand uncompromising absolute power. The official announcement is expected around spring 2026. This would make sense, possibly during WWDC 2026, where Apple often introduces its new Pro-level Macs and Silicon updates. Shipping could begin shortly after, with a global rollout in mid-2026. This hardware powerhouse will be paired with Mac OS 16, which will feature deep Apple intelligence integration with new tools for coding, video editing, and task management. This new Mac Studio is entering a market dominated by heavyweights. NVIDIA Workstation PCs, AMD Threadripper builds, high-end Intel Xeon towers, but Apple's unified architecture provides an unmatched advantage, consistency, efficiency, and tight optimization. For example, while a high-end PC might require an 800 or 1000 watt power supply to run, the M5 Ultra Studio reportedly achieves similar, and in many cases, better performance at less than 300 watts. The silent operation and compact design make it ideal for studios where noise is a problem. Apple isn't trying to compete on specs alone. It's redefining what professional efficiency even means. This machine represents more than just a faster computer. It is a future-proof investment. Apple is clearly focusing on long-term sustainability. Imagine training machine learning models locally without relying on expensive cloud GPU credits. Imagine editing feature-length films in 12K resolution. Imagine running architectural simulations with real-time rendering, all on one compact, silent desktop. That is the promise of the M5 Ultra Max Studio. So, here is my best and final opinion on this product. If these leaks are true, this is it. This is the end of the line for the pro computer as we know it. This is the most significant step in Apple's silicon evolution since the original M1. Apple is no longer just competing with high-end PCs, it is embarrassing them. The M5 Ultra, with 512 gigabytes of unified memory, is not a workstation. It is a personal supercomputer. It blurs the line between a professional tool and a creative singularity. For years, the professional world has had to put up with massive, loud, hot, and power-hungry towers to get the job done. Apple is saying that entire era is over. Is this machine overkill? For 99% of people, yes. Absolutely. But this machine isn't for 99% of people. This is for the 1%. This is for Pixar. This is for the AI researcher building the next global model. This is for the Hollywood colorist grading the next billion-dollar blockbuster. And the most insane part is that you or I will be able to just buy one. Apple isn't just building another Mac. It's building the future of professional computing. And it is, without a doubt, a statement of pure, unadulterated dominance. What do you think? Is the M5 Ultra the end of the road for traditional PC workstations? Is 512 gigabytes of RAM just insane? Or is it the new standard? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you like the video, subscribe, share the video, and hit the bell icon like that.